Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. It's another Wednesday morning, December 27, 2023. And I pray that as we go through this day, that the Lord will continue to keep you and continue to bless you. Our reading this morning comes to us from Matthew chapter 5, reading verse 13 to 20. And it goes as follows. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is there thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Verse 14 continues to say, He are the, the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. 16 says, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Verse 19 says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 20 and last says, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I say, Amen. Indeed, it's a privilege to always read the Word of God and to learn from His goodness and to learn of what He requires of us to do and by His grace to do them. Now, this morning reading is compact with a lot of wisdom and encouragement and guidance right it tells us that our righteousness must exceed exceed the righteousness of the scribe and the pharisees right so we cannot and if we read the history of the scribe, the scribe and the, the pharisees we know that they were very self-righteous people right and our righteousness the bible tells us is as filthy rags our righteousness cannot save us and so we need the righteousness of christ right it reminds us that we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth right and without the flavoring of the salt in the pot right the the pot would not taste as delightful as it does when you finish cooking but when you add the salt the salt give the food flavor right and so with us the bible says that we are the salt of this earth and the light of this world and therefore it means that we bring 
flavor to this disturbed and dark planet. Right? So we are to be the little light in the corner to give people hope. To remind people that God still loves and care about them. And so if we refuse to shine those light, the world would not be guided towards the light who is Jesus Christ. And so, may we understand how important of a role we play in the plan of salvation as we become co labor with Christ. Right? He expects us to, to work with Him to show others the way. Right? He talk about the fact that we should be obedient to His commandment. His commandments are still valid and still relevant, still standing and binding today. They are not done away with as many would have you believe. And so, may we understand that God's words remain steadfast for eternity. Right? He said that till heaven and earth pass away, not one tittle mean a little speck nothing will be changed from the laws of god right until all be fulfilled right and so may we understand that god's word is final right and god does not give us his word to be a burden he did not give us his law to be a burden to us. So it's not a burden. It's not a chain around your neck. It is a way of guiding us in the right direction. And so the moment you start to look at the God's word as a burden, serving God as a burden, indeed it will become a burden because you have the wrong idea. And so may the Holy Spirit guide our thoughts, guide our motive, and help us Lord, to keep His Word as we continue to walk in the light and shine the light in this world and wherever we are. May God continue to bless you and your family and, and keep you as you continue to serve Him. Amen. <music>